Jocelyn, what would happen if you told your husband about the infection? If it would help, we could explain all about it here in the clinic. I understand he came into the clinic with you today. Would it help if I talked to him and explained? No. I don't think so. I, I don't know. Another idea is to have the health department call him. They do this kind of thing all the time. They would call him and tell him he's been exposed to chlamydia, but they can't tell him where they got the information from. I don't, I don't think that's gonna help. Jocelyn, are you afraid when he finds out he's gonna hurt you? He's gonna be really, really, really mad. He's, he's not gonna believe I didn't do something. Okay, this seems really hard. And I hear this from a lot of patients. I'm not an expert in how to help with the situation with your husband, but I know someone, a colleague, Jackie. She really understands, and she can help you with a plan to be safer. Are you afraid to go out in the waiting room right now? I can't, I just can't, okay? It, go, it comes in ways with him. I can't tell him right now. He'll blame me, I can't, I can't. Do you think he could become violent with you or someone else in the clinic? I mean, he's not gonna get, he's not gonna act up in public. Okay. Because this is so common, I'm giving these to my patients. It's all about relationships and what women deserve in relationships. Being hurt and being afraid shouldn't have to be a part of that. There are hotline numbers on the back. I called them myself, they're really good. And they're there 24 seven just to listen or they can help you with a safety plan if you need that. So let's finish with your other tests and take care of the rest of the visit. And then if you want, you can borrow my phone or have me call Jackie or the hotline, okay?